Pourquoi Pourquoi les idées que nous défendons provoquent-elles une telle violence What I love about Z is that it is an exciting film that manages to entertain on a very uncomplicated level and be absorbing on a very uncomplicated level, but also to sell a very hard message, which is a political message. Z is a movie that never stops to take a breath. A lot of people criticized this because they felt that the film was not allowing enough for rumination of its political ideas and, and implications. I think Costa Gavras would argue, no, that's what's wrong with those political films. If you want to make a political film for a mainstream audience, first of all, it has to function as entertainment. So what Costa Gavras does is he sets this assassination up. It is an outrage, but it is an outrage that is being perpetrated upon characters who are seen as decent and motivated by other characters who are seen as absolutely opposite. So you want to see justice seen. You are invested in this thing being solved. But it comes first of all on that emotional level and also on a visceral level because the film is so exciting to watch. The staging of the assassination itself is one of the great uh, scenes from movies of the, of the 1960s. And the, the power in it comes from the fact that although up until that point, there are strong intimations that something is going to happen, when it finally does happen, it really does seem to come out of nowhere. The assassination as it did in real life took place in a hall that was only supplied for him at the last minute because the organizers were not able to find an adequately sized hall. All of this was seen as part of the conspiracy behind to set up the assassination. When the assassination takes place, it happens after Lambracus leaves the hall, but out of that kind of small, confined area, it's almost like you're watching theater in the round because people are surrounding him. He walks into the center, he's illuminated from above, and then suddenly what you have been feeling in your gut is going to happen for a long time does happen. You had to be sold on the fact that this was an outrageous act of violence, and you had to be motivated for the remaining two hours to try and see if justice would be served. Depictions of sudden violence were becoming something of a preoccupation in American movies. And if you think of the climax of Bonnie and Clyde, you think of the end of The Wild Bunch, you think of something like Night of the Living Dead. All of these films are fascinated by the idea of outrageous violence kind of coming out of nowhere. And Z stands with all of those films in terms of its rather shocking, as it should be, depiction of this kind of violence.